Well, good morning and welcome again to another broadcast of Internet Radio. And I'm your host, Irish. And the name of our show is Down to Earth but Heavenly Minded. Well, this morning I just want to talk to you about uh, salvation. Now, I have no idea how you got to this recording. Uh, If it was through a link, if you were on Google or Yahoo or wherever you were doing a search, or if you're one of my uh, subscribers, or if you just happened to find this uh, recording, I want to talk to you a little bit about something very serious. I uh, was going through some articles, and I ran across this article by uh, Re Renosa, and it was entitled, uh, How Can I Get Saved? Simple. Well, I don't know if you have her ask yourself that question or what salvation is all about. I know that at one time I thought I was okay. It's going about life as usual. and uh, But then I realized uh, I was having so many problems in life that uh, there's got to be something better than this. And it turned out that uh, God had worked in my life. He pulled a rug out from under me and uh, my whole world was falling apart. I don't know, maybe you're at that end. I don't know. Have you reached a dead end in your life or things not going well? You know, all you have to do is look around. You could see that the whole world is falling apart. I don't even like to watch the news anymore and It just seems like this country uh, that I lived in my entire life is not the country that I was born in. It's completely changed. And I believe it's going down the road, the wrong road. And it made me think of a road. I remember years ago I, I read a gospel track It was entitled The Roman Road. Well, I'm not going to share this article with you on how to be saved. I will put a link in my description for you. And uh, you can check it out. Well, let me just go over what the Roman Road is. The Book of Romans was a letter that was wrote by Paul to the Roman Christians. And uh, the Roman road is actually uh, just a trip through the book of Romans, certain verses. The Roman road to salvation is a way of explaining the good news of salvation. And you know, using verses from the book Uh, And the Roman road is simply a powerful method of explaining why we need salvation, how God provides salvation, how we can receive salvation, and what is the result of salvation. So with that, let's just go through the Roman road. The first verse in Romans on the Roman road of salvation is Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There's nobody excluded from this, everybody. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. We have all done things that are displeasing to God. There is no one who is innocent. Romans 3, verses 10 and 18, uh, 10 to 18 says this, 
as it is written, and none is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks for God. All have turned aside together. They have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. The throat is an open grave, and their tongues uh, they use for deceit. The venom of asp is under their lips. Their mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. There's nobody that seeks after God. Given the detailed picture of what sin looks like in our lives, the second, you know, scripture on the Roman road is this. Romans 6.23, the first part of the verse. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Well, we're all under the sentence of death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 5.8 of Romans reads, But God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God demonstrated his own love towards us. While we were in this poor condition, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ died for us. Yes, he paid the price for our sins. Jesus' resurrection proves that God accepts Jesus' death as the payment for our sins. That's what Jesus Christ's resurrection is all about. Now the fourth stop on the Roman road is Romans 10, 9. Because if you confess your, you know, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It doesn't say you might be saved. It says you will be saved. That is your confession. And you have to do it with your mouth. You know, it's so simple. But you got to have this in your heart, not just in your mind, not just thinking about it. You have to have it deep down in your soul. And you got to think and really believe that God raised him from the dead. And he did. And you will be saved. Because of Jesus' death on our behalf, we all have to do, all we have to do is just believe it. We have to turn to him and trust him in his death and his payment for our sins. And we will be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Have you called on the Lord? Do it now. Just stop this recording and call on the Lord, and he'll save you. Jesus died to pay the penalty for our sins and to rescue us from eternal death. Salvation and forgiveness of sins is available to anyone who will trust in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The final aspect of the Roman road to salvation is the result of salvation. What is the result of it? It's therefore, in Romans 5.1, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, that's some good news. What a wonderful message. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, just simple faith, not works, nothing in my hands I bring simply to the cross I cling. We will have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, through Jesus Christ, we can have a relationship of peace with God. In Romans 8, 1, it tells us, there is therefore now no condemnation 
to those who are in Christ Jesus. Remember what we said right in the beginning, that the wages of sin is death. But the fact is, Christ died for us. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. Because Jesus' death on the, on the cross, his death was for our behalf. We will never be condemned for our sins. Finally, we have the precious promise of God from Romans 8, verses 38 and 39. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation that covers everything will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Well, I'm convinced of it. Are you convinced of it? There's none of these things will separate us from the love of God. Would you like to follow the Roman road to salvation? If so, just pray to God right now in a simple prayer that you have put your faith and trust in him. You, you will be saved. Simple faith. He doesn't want you to change your life right now or clean up your act and then come to him. Come to him as you are. You know, there's recorded in all the Gospels many sinners that came to Christ simply trusting him, and they received salvation, and so can you. So, if you have made a decision for Christ, uh, just get on your knees and thank him and praise him and worship him for he is the one who loves you. So with that, I'm going to end this podcast, or I'm sorry, this recording uh, on this in, uh, internet radio. And uh, I hope you put your trust in Christ. God bless. Bye for now.